what's up everybody and welcome back to part two of what if an app game that asks you various what if questions the last question we left off on was what if you could accomplish anything but you had to sacrifice sweat tears and time to make it and i feel like i personally feel like this is life and we answered yes but we are halfway through this set of questions with the exception like the first question or two I accidentally answered by mistake as we were as I was setting up the camera but whatever moving on what if you are twice as attractive but every Friday you are transformed into an equally attractive person of opposite gender let me read read this again to make sure I got it right what if you are twice as attractive but every Friday you are transformed into an equally attractive person of opposite gender you know, I, I feel like I want to say yes to this. I mean, we live in a, an age where gender uh, equality is a thing. I should be willing to... to accept... both sides of the art. Both sides. I should be able to be... do this, that thing. They're saying we should... this question is implying. Yes, I'm gonna say yes, and I'm gonna drop my phone in the process. And really mess everything up. <laughs> 69 percent of people said the same yes 69 percent 69 six nine giggles okay so I'm, I'm, I'm not alone that's interesting that's an interesting question what if you got a clone of yourself that obeys your orders but it falls in love with you at the same per wait sorry i misread that it falls in love with the same person you fall in love with i mean okay I'm gonna read that just so it's all clear because I kind of I, I I had a hard time processing it. What if you got a clone of yourself that obeys orders, but it falls in love with the same person you fall in love with? How do we know this this person's not open to this? I mean, seriously, how do we know this the 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 person my clone and I are in love with isn't into this idea of two of me? I'm gonna go ahead and say yes because it's it's yeah okay so 30% of answer people answered like me other 70% are just kind of cre creeped out by the concept okay I creep people out what if you became a world famous athlete and earned five million a year but you become super fat okay so I'm already fat now and five million a year would make this this a lot easier to deal with. So I'm gonna say yes to that. Well, okay. Seventy-one percent of people would turn down five million a year to stay skinny, and I'm guessing that other twenty-nine percent is already fat. What? <laughs> what if you learn three new languages fluently, but you forgot your native language? That's a tough one. I could do a lot with three languages, but I can do a lot with English. A lot more English. I can do a lot more with English. English. I can do a lot more with English in my current life. I don't know. This this could just be a perception thing, a comprehension thing. But I can't comprehend not speaking English because that's all I've ever spoken. So I'm going to say no. 61% of people answered just like me. And again, I have to wonder if that 61% of people just can't comprehend not speaking the language that they've known their whole life. Moving on. What if all people were black... But you were white. <laughs> what if all people were black except me? Wow. Um. I'm gonna say no. Mostly because I like diversity. So, let's say you have a world, a society of all white people and just one black person. I wouldn't want that either. I'm gonna say no. I want diversity. Give me diversity. 72% of people answer like me. Good on us. That means we want diversity. Moving on. What if you can turn water into wine? That would make my roommate very happy. But you can only... But you only get to drink wine. Ugh. I don't think my system can handle that. I'm sorry, Stephanie, but you're gonna have to buy your wine. Okay, most people answered like me. What if you got to travel 500 years into the future for a day, then back again, but your right hand becomes a foot? 
No! What would I even do in 500 years from now? It's not like I can just walk up and say, Hey, who's winning the World Series these days? I don't, I don't know. What? I wouldn't even... I don't think I'd even be able to use the technology in 500 years from today. I, I'm gonna say no. 86% of people answered like you. What if you could receive a magical window wiper? Oh, sorry. Magical window wiper. I thought it said whisper, and I'm like, wait, that makes no sense. A wiper that could make anything invisible, but you had to use it on all your shoes and socks. Why? What, what purpose? No. That just makes no, no, that's not even logical. Okay, I have to question the 35% of people who said yes to this. Do you do you just not like the look of your shoes and socks? Do you want, it, want to give the appearance of walking around barefooted? I don't understand. Let's move on. Oh, I kicked my camera. Sorry, I had to adjust my leg. I'm, camera's pretty close to me. I have a, whatever. You don't care about my camera. Uh, what if you got a luxury villa just by the beach? But all set. But all sand you walk on is quicksand. A luxury villa just by the beach, but all sand you walk on is quicksand. So basically, you couldn't leave your your con your. You you'd be stuck inside the villa, and you know, I'm not sure I'd be totally against that. Honestly, I mean, I'd still have the sea breeze. I'd be able to enjoy it from hopefully a patio or whatever. I'm gonna say yes. 18% of people answered like me. 82% of people would very much like not like to be sucked into the earth. I can't say I fault them for that. What if you could be in a movie, but it was a porno? I don't want to be in any kind of movie. I don't want that fandom. I don't want that. I don't want the celebrity spotlight. And I realize there's different genres of pornos. You know, there's porn for fat people, porn for skinny people, muscle porn, all that stuff. But in my mind, porn would mean that, if I was in a porno, it would mean I'm, I'm very well hung and very well chiseled. For silliness, I'm going to say yes, because that's the, the scenario I created for myself. 44% of people answered like me. Okay, and I'm wondering if those that 44% who answered like me did it just for, uh, answered that way just for the illusion or the, the fantasy of having a perfect body and a really hung penis. Ah, oh, another one of these. What if you get four stars for being totally awesome, but we would be super happy if you wanted to try out another fun and free game? I'm not going to be awesome. 84% er, of people are like me in that they do not want to be awesome. What if you could change gender whenever you wanted, but you become slightly uglier every time you did? I'm going to say no. 86% of people do not want to be slightly uglier every time they change genders. That's good to know. Suddenly I am very tired. Like, I want to fall asleep. I want to go to bed right now. But, 32, 30, 32 questions into this set. We're almost done with it. Let's muscle. I'm going to muscle through. I hope you muscle through with me. What if you get infinite money, but everyone in the world except you who are over 20 years old dies. So everybody over 20 years old is dead except me. And I have infinite money. That kind of means I'm alone. I mean, it would be me, an insanely old person living in a world of financially unresponsible 20 and under children. I'm gonna say no, 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 no. I don't want a world like that. 82% of people answered like me means they do not want to put up with a bunch of dying teenagers. What if you got to design your own partner's looks and personality, but your partner's partner gets to design you exactly how he, she wanted? I'm gonna say no. I'm very much a fan of, of not changing somebody. Oh, I'm actually very surprised. 41% of people answered like me, meaning the majority of people is okay or are okay with this scenario fine then moving on what if a restaurant opened in your honor where you choose the menu and always get free food but you may never eat at any other restaurant all right restaurant opened in my honor 
then I get to choose the menu, and I'll get free food. But I may never... Why would I want to eat in another restaurant? Yes, please. Give me free food that I want. 61% of people are happy eating at the same restaurant all the time, as long as it provided them the food they wanted for free. Yeah, I don't see a problem with this. What if you got any clothes for from any store for free, but you can never wear matching shoes or socks? Again, okay, so let me sidetrack from this a little bit. Every time I buy new shoes, there's always inevitably one or two people in the office that that'll walk up to me and say, Oh, you have new shoes. They're very nice. And I'm just like, why are you looking at my feet? My eyes are up here. Why? Why? I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I never notice people's shoes because I don't, I don't go, nice feet. I don't know. I'm fine with this. Let's see what everybody else thinks, though. Most people would rather have... Again, why? They'd rather have matching shoes and socks than get free clothing. I, I don't get it, but whatever. What if you could play the accordion, but you have to... <laughs> but you have to brag about it every day. Okay, nobody wants to play the accordion. Nobody likes somebody who bra brags about the accordion. 79% of people are like me. Good for them. What if you were lucky and happy every day, but you turned into an animal of your choice? Hello? Duh! Yes! I would love that! Oh, that was a very close one. Growing up, or just in life in general, I always hear people say, Ugh, cats are so lucky, or dogs are lucky, or whatever animal's lucky. And I think that's because cat- Human beings are burdened, cursed, with- with the gift of logic. We wake up every morning. We do the most logical thing, which is go to work. Slave away for that paycheck. And animals don't. And in many ways, I think this drive to be better than other animals, to work and make money and have house and be logical is a curse. I really do. What if you got to pick up any one person to be your best friend? Oh, sorry. What if you got to pick any one person to be your best friend, but you must have sex with each other once and only once? I mean... Who am I to judge? I'd be open to it. I don't know who that best friend would be. But. You know, just one night of whatever kind of sex. And then for the rest of rest and forever, you, you have a best friend to do anything with. Non-sexual. I'm, I'm okay. Uh... This is a split. Okay, this is my first split. 50-50. So, just as many people are for this as they are against it. Good to know. Moving on. What if you tripled your salary, but you shortened your length by half? Wait, what? Tripled your salary, but you shortened your length by half. Are, are they talking length? I don't even know how to answer this one, because I don't know how to read it. Um, triple my salary. Length by half. What What do they mean, length? I, I really don't know how to answer this one, so I'm going to go ahead and hit yes. Level three. A commercial. I'm going to cut this commercial out because I don't think you guys need to see it. But hey, there's a kitty in my face. Let's look at the kitty where the commercial plays. It's a kitty. Everybody say hello to the kitty. This is Mr. Scraggles, by the way. He's going to be moving with my boyfriend to the East Coast. They're going to be leaving me all alone. No kitty. No boyfriend. All by myself. 
Anyway, commercial's over. Um, that question that we don't know how to answer, apparently 22 other people have, or 22% of people have answered like me, 78 had said no. I, I really have to wonder if they, if any of them knew what this question meant. What, cat? Anyway, I don't want to get into the next set of questions because I'm tired. And I only wanted to do one set, so I'm going to go ahead and sign off and be done. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you liked, please like, thumbs up, share, subscribe, all that other fun stuff. It really means a lot to me. It helps my channel, and it makes me want to keep doing things. Thank you very much, and have a nice night.